In 2006, non-governmental organizations continued to press the government to create an independent police complaints and misconduct commission, IPCMC. Draft legislation to establish an IPCMC remained under consideration by the Attorney General at the end of the year. A range of other reform recommendations, including repeal, or review of laws allowing for detention without trial or requiring police permits for public assemblies were not implemented. There were continued reports of excessive use of force by police officers during peaceful demonstrations. In March and May, police armed with shields violently dispersed a series of peaceful protests in Kuala Lumpur against fuel prices with batons and water cannon. There was still concern over the effectiveness of safeguards to ensure the safety and well-being of detainees in police custody. At least five people, including one woman, were reported to have died in custody during the year. The ISA, which allows for detention without trial for periods of up to two years, renewable indefinitely, continued to be applied and also used as a threat. At least 80 men accused of membership of or links to Islamist extremist groups remained in detention at the end of the year. At least 700 criminal suspects remained in detention under the Emergency Ordinance or EO which allows for indefinite detention without trial. Many were detained under the EO because the police did not have sufficient evidence to charge them. <music> Refugees, asylum seekers and migrant workers remained vulnerable to arrest, detention in poor conditions and deportation under the Immigration Act. Migrant workers were subjected to psychological and physical abuse by agencies and employers and were often denied equal access to benefits and protections guaranteed to Malaysian workers, including maternity provisions, limited working hours and holidays. Excessive use of force and ill treatment were reported during repeated raids and mass arrests mostly conducted by members of the Volunteer Civilian Armed Corps, RELA, of suspected irregular migrant workers. Hundreds were whipped after being found guilty of immigration offences. There was continued criticism of the Printing Presses and Publication Act, which allows the authorities to refuse, revoke or suspend printing permits. In May, the Opposition People's Justice Party, or Parti Keadilan Rakia, protested at the refusal to grant a printing permit for the party's official paper. Two opposition parties, the Malaysian Dayak Congress and the Socialist Party of Malaysia, or Parti Socialist Malaysia, were denied registration under the Societies Act. Death sentences, however, continued to be passed during 2006, mostly as a mandatory punishment for certain drug-related offences. Four executions for armed treason were carried out. The authorities continued not to disclose regular statistics on capital punishment. In May, 
Parliament passed a water privatization bill, which also extended the death penalty to cover serious cases of water contamination, caning, a cruel, inhuman or degrading punishment was also carried out. <laughs> <laughs>